Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at an application I've been working on, APRS Weather Alerts. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. So the majority of us are probably familiar with APRS, and I expect most of us are familiar with APRS messages. But I was looking at kind of a value-add product to APRS, and many people aren't familiar with APRS bulletins. And the way bulletins differ from a message, a message is a one-to-one -one type message. So I send a message to your station, and basically, unless somebody's out there uh, looking at APRS FI, that message only goes to your station. However, if I create a bulletin, then that bulletin is received by every station within the uh, gateway that can, that can basically hear that message. So it would go ahead and populate onto uh, the screen of every radio that was within range. So what I did was I was looking at a way to alert people to severe weather in the area. So in my area, we uh, have pretty regular thunderstorms. Uh, some of those can become severe, and we also have tornado warnings. And I wanted to be able to alert people uh, to any of those type warnings that came along. So I sat down and I started working with some code, and this has kind of grown over time. Now, guys, this will be available at some point in the future. It's currently still being tested. And kind of the problem with this application is I need actual live uh, weather warnings to work with to make sure that everything is working as expected. And I've been testing it for the last couple of months. Everything seems okay, so I'll probably start pushing this out for a little bit of beta testing in the near future and then hopefully have the code publicly available by the end of the year. But let's kind of take a look at what we're doing here. Uh, you can monitor different counties uh, around you. So in my case, I'm monitoring six different counties. Uh, it's basically, I'm in Rutherford County, Tennessee, and it basically monitors uh, Rutherford County and every county that touches Rutherford County on the map. Uh, you'll see right here, it's monitoring for every, or it's monitoring for new alerts every five minutes. Now, where it's getting these alerts is I'm scraping the National Weather Service's website. So if you go over to alerts.weather.gov, you'll come up to this page here. If we scroll down this page, you'll come to a list of states. And then you can get a zone list or a county list. And I'm actually working with the county list and not the zone list. Uh, so I'm going to scroll on down to Tennessee and I'm going to go ahead and click on that county list. When that information, or when that page rather, loads up, you will see that each county has a different code. So, in other words, if I wanted to monitor Dixon County, I need this code right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, that information, that TNC043. Let's head back over to the weather bulletin. I'm going to say OK here and we'll go ahead and add a county that we want to monitor. So I'm gonna paste in that information that we just copied, and if I remember right, was that Dixon County? I believe it was. And I'm gonna to say to monitor this every five minutes. And we'll go ahead and click Create. It'll tell us that we've added uh, Dixon County to our list. Now, if any weather alerts come out, it's going to see that information. The, the application is looking at the website. It will take the weather warnings and then it will send those out as an APRS bulletin. And it's using Direwolf to do this. So you do need an APRS Digipeter uh, that is running with Direwolf. But those alerts would uh, be sent out and then would be received on uh, anybody's APRS radio that was within range. So if we take a look at the log here, you can kind of get an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and click show more because that screen only shows the last 15 alerts. Let's make this a little bit bigger so that we can see a bit more about what's going on. 
Now, if you look right here, this is uh, this log goes all the way back to May the 22nd of this uh, of this year, and at that time we had a severe thunderstorm warning in Williamson County, and this is the exact message that would be displayed on the radio, uh, the APRS capable radio. So you can see the message that was sent out is a severe thunderstorm warning for Williamson, Tennessee, or Williamson County, Tennessee. And that warning was going to last until May the 22nd at 7.45 p.m. You can see that that alert was sent at 1910. Uh, and if you look going down through here, there was, uh, I believe it was the 25th of May, just a couple of days later. Uh, whoop, I got the wrong button there. Let's see, I'm trying to highlight this information, and the mouse is not wanting to cooperate but if you see this list here, there was two different warnings that went out at uh, 1615. Uh, one was for Wilson County and the other one was for Davidson County. And then uh, at 1630, again, those two alerts went out. And uh, then it, another one at 1635 and 1645 that day. But it just allows uh, people in the area to get a message that alerts them to potential weather in the area. And that comes over as, uh, it, it looks very similar to a message that would come into your APRS radio, but it's actually a bulletin that was going out. So yesterday we had some more active weather. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the log here. And you'll see that uh, on the 20th of July, we had, well, actually, there was several warnings that came out uh, yesterday. Uh, but on the 20th of July, we had several thunderstorm warnings that came out. And then we also had some flash flood warnings that came out. So all of those went out as alerts over, or as bulletins, rather, over APRS. Now, let's jump over to the APRS website and I am going to come over to the right hand side of the screen. It may be a little bit small, but uh, there is a section here that says bulletin board. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the bulletin board. Let's see if we can make that a little bit larger. And you can see the alerts that my station sent out yesterday. So it's just a, kind of a cool little application that hopefully will make it easy to deploy once we get uh, finished testing that will allow everybody to know what kind of weather is in their area. Uh, now, one thing it doesn't watch for is it doesn't watch for uh, um, or it doesn't broadcast weather watches. So if it's a severe thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch, it doesn't broadcast those out. This is only looking at warnings that are coming out. So flash flood warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, tornado warnings, those type things. If you happen to run a APRS Digipeter that uh, is ran with Direwolf, leave a comment down below. Uh, we are getting close, like I said, to putting this out for beta testing, and I'm going to need some guys that can take this and load it up onto their system and uh, give it a test run. So far, it has been doing uh, very well for my end. One of the other cool things you can do with this, just briefly, is use Direwolf that is not on the Raspberry Pi that you're currently working on. So this is running on uh, my primary Raspberry Pi that I carry portable all the time, but if it uh, sees a message or uh, a new warning rather from the National Weather Service, it sends that bulletin message from this Raspberry Pi to the Raspberry Pi that's actually running my Digipeter here in the shack. So uh, another kind of cool piece of it is we can network this, uh, provided uh, all of the Raspberry Pis are on the same network. But anyway, leave a comment down below if you're running a Digipeter with Direwolf and might like to uh, beta test this in the near future. I can't guarantee that everybody that puts a comment will uh, get to beta test, but I am going to need a few guys, and then we'll kind of broaden that out as we get good reports coming back in that the software is working as expected. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the preview. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.